now we will discuss the practical part of docker like how docker helps you in your real life projects firstly we will start from the docker desktop app you need to go to the docker.com projects to install the docker in your system for mac you can install it has it will automatically detects the operating system you are running like i am running mac and you need to download the docker in your macbook or the windows then you need to install the docker i have already installed the docker desktop app it will looks like this firstly it will show you all the containers running in your system the docker images already installed in your system the volumes and the docker dev environment in the learning center docker will provide you with very helpful documentation about various docker concepts like what the container is how you can run docker containers in your system how you can run the multiple containers and how you can persist data between different containers you can read and use them if you want docker also provide you guidance about different programming languages like node python go java and c sharp you can read anything about docker from the learning center after installing the docker you need to go to the terminal and you can check the docker version by running the docker dash dash version command if it shows you the uh, docker version it means the docker is successfully installed in your system let's move back to the uh, slides part to see how you can uh, run different docker commands in your project so this so this is the docker uh, components part that we have already discussed we, till now you know what the docker files are how you can build the uh, docker images and what the docker containers are this is how the docker file looks like you can specify any number of commands in your docker file like you can use the docker image you can uh, install the application dependencies you can expose any port or you can run any command or file as well after creating the docker file the next step is to create the docker image from that file you can create the docker image by running the docker build command followed by the minus t flag the name of your image and the location of your docker file like in my case the docker file is present as root directly after creating the your docker images you can uh, verify the location or existence of your image by running the docker images command it will show you all the details of your image after building the docker image you can run the container of that image or you can push this uh, docker image to the docker hub so that other can also view or use your docker image if you do not want to create your own docker image you can also pull the docker image from docker hub by running docker pull image name uh, command just like uh, i am uh, i am get pulling the ubuntu image from your docker hub i am running the docker pull ubuntu you can also specify the version of ubuntu image you want to get in your system after creating your own docker image or pulling the docker image from docker hub you can run the docker container of that docker image by running the docker run followed by the image name this command will run only a single container if you want to run the multiple containers like you want to run the application and the database together you can uh, run the multiple containers by running the docker compose up command if you want to view all the containers running in your system you can view this by running the docker compose followed by ls this will show you the container id the image the status of the container the port and some other options of the docker containers so that's it from this video thanks for watching